Hello friends, this is Manohar Vira from Examping. Welcome back to the yet another video of Gentle Awareness series. In this session, we are going to learn about the prehistoric rock paintings in India. We will be looking at some important rock paintings. Before getting started, let us know whether this series of videos is helpful to you or not in the comments below. So let's get started. The distance passed when there was no paper, a language or the written word and hence no books or written document were present. It is called prehistoric period. Piecing together of information deduced from old tools, habitat, bones of both animals and human beings and drawings on the cave walls, scholars have constructed fairly accurate knowledge about what happened and how people lived in prehistoric times. Paintings and drawings were the oldest art forms practiced by human beings to express themselves using the cave wall as their canvas. The drawings and paintings can be categorized into three historic periods. Period 1 Upper Paleolithic Period 2 Mesolithic Period 3 Chalcolithic First, we will see about Paleolithic period. The prehistoric period in the early development of human beings is commonly known as the Old Stone Age or Paleolithic Age. The Paleolithic period can be divided into three phases. The first one is Lower Paleolithic that is between 2.5 million years ago to 1 lakh years ago. The second one is Middle Paleolithic that is uh, 3, 3 lakh years ago to 30,000 years ago. And the third one is Upper Paleolithic that is 40,000 years ago to 10,000 years ago. We did not get any evidence of paintings from Lower or Middle Paleolithic age yet. In the Upper Paleolithic period, we see a proliferation of artistic activities. Subjects of early works confined to simple human figures, human activities, geometric designs and symbols. First discovery of rock paintings in the world was made in India by 1867-68 by an archaeologist Archibald Chaliel, 12 years before the discovery of Altamira in Spain. This is considered site of oldest rock paintings in the world. There are two major sites of excellent prehistoric paintings in India. One is Bimbetka Caves, foothills of Vindhya, Madhya Pradesh, and the other is Jogimara Caves, Amarnath, Madhya Pradesh. Both are in Madhya Pradesh. Mesolithic period art. The largest number of paintings belongs to this period. Teams multiply, but the paintings are small in size. Hunting scenes predominated. Hunters in group armed with barbed spears, pointed sticks, arrows and bows. Trap and snares used to catch animals can be seen in some paintings. In some pictures, animals are chasing men and in others they are being chased by hunter men. Animals painted in a naturalistic style and humans were depicted in a stylish manner. Young and old equally find places in paintings. Community dances provide a common theme. Shot of family life can be seen in some paintings. Women, man and children together. Next we will see about Chalcolithic period art. It is Copper Age art. The paintings of this period reveal the association, contact and mutual exchange of requirements of the cave dwellers of this area with settled agricultural communities of the Malwa Plateau. Pottery and metal tools can be seen in paintings. Similarities with rock paintings are common motifs that is design and patterns like grass hatched squares, lattices, etc. Differences with rock paintings are vividness and vitality of older periods disappear from these paintings. Some of the general features of prehistoric paintings based on the study of Bimbetka paintings. 
they were used colors including various shades of white, yellow, orange, red ochre, purple, brown, green and black. But white and red were the favorite. The paints used by these people were made by grinding various colored rocks. They got red from hematite, Geru in India, green prepared from a green colored rock called Chalkadeni, white was probably from limestone, some sticky substances such as animal fat or gum or resin from trees may be used while mixing rock powder with water. Brushes were made of plant fiber. It is believed that these colors remain thousands of years because of the chemical reaction of the oxide present on the surface of rocks. Paintings were found both from occupied and unoccupied caves. It means that these paintings were sometimes used also as some sort of signals, warnings, etc. Many rock art sites of the new painting are painted on top of an older painting. In Bhimpetka, we can see nearly 20 layers of paintings, one on top of another. We have come to the end of this session on prehistoric rock paintings. We will see at another cultural video in general awareness series. Let us know which type of videos you would like to see in the series in the next video. Thank you.